fun time. Don't go away. Hello everybody, it's Paul from Fat Guy Productions, coming to you as always from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, and it is fun time today. I don't know if the box is giving it away what this is. This is going to be great, okay? Today, we're going to be opening and taking a look at a new 3D printer. This is the Photon by Anycubic. It is a DLP resin printer. So... If you've been following me and watching about my uh, uh, my uh, Select Mini Pro, it's an FDM printer, and, and it's two different technologies, and they excel at two different things, and they have negatives that are completely different. So I, I don't see this as a substitute, more like a complement, and I'm really excited to have it in the house, so let's go ahead and get it open. All right. Anyhow, while I'm opening this, uh, if you don't understand it, basically what it is, is it is a DLP light source that uh, projects a UV light, and the build plate dips down into a resin vat, and it projects an image through a clear bottom onto the build plate and hardens certain areas of the resin. The build plate then moves up, Let's new resin get in there, sets its height, and then it does it all over again. So, um, one of the strong points of a resin printer is its ability to do detail stuff. It, it does some really, really fine work, so I'm told. Um, uh, finer than an FDM printer probably can handle. Let's see how this is going to work out. Yeah, I'm told it's a, a much finer print than an FDM printer, but you have to deal with resins and smells and stickiness and curing and, and a lot of other things that you don't have to with an FDM printer. So um, there's, there's some trade-offs there. Okay, so we have a user manual. Looks nice. Looks absolutely better than the... Uh, Select Mini Pro. Okay, this is a, a spare FEP or FEP. This is the clear film that sits at the bottom of the resin tank and then the light shines through this. So there's a spare. Here's an after sale service card with some stuff on it. Any cubic thing that shows it past inspection. A small bottle of the green resin. It's not a big bottle. Bag of tools. Power cord. Power brick. A little proby like screwdriver. Uh, a memory stick, which I heard they suck and people say replace immediately. something I can use this for. This is too nice. I can't just throw that out. Okay, here it is. Let's see if I can lift it up out of the other half, which of course, no. Alright. I always just know I look like a complete idiot when I'm trying to get this stuff out of all these wrappings. Okay. So, let me clear a little spot here and reset you guys so you guys can see what's going on here, okay? Hang on a second. Okay, so, there you have it. Um, 
Yeah, it's pretty substantial. It's uh, got some weight to it. All right, so we start peeling this stuff off. This thing is packaged very, very well. And if you know me at all, you know I appreciate a good packing job. I think it speaks volumes about whoever packed it and how they feel about the product. Okay, here's your build plate. So you can see you don't have a very big build surface, all right? That's really, really small, far smaller than the the uh, mono, uh, mono price printer. All right, so here is your resin vat. Here is your Z axis, which is the only axis that it adds. It's just up and down, that's all it does uh, because it's got a full screen underneath here that exposes the entire layer at one time. Now. I don't know what's happening here. This is something new. So here's some filters for filtering out your resin after you use it. Uh, see, I can see through this one. So I don't know what's happening. I, I'm gonna have to turn this so I can look here. I don't know if you're supposed to remove these coatings, so I'm not going to until I know for sure. I suspect yes, because I don't see it on this side. But you loosen up these screws, and then you can just slide your resin vat out. So here's your resin vat, and yes, there's a bottom here. Sounds like a drum. That is the FEP, and light will shine through that, while this sucker is down in here, in the resin, and it will expose a layer of resin. Hello, whoa, this is trippy, trippy, hello. Hello, YouTubers! Well, I should use that. That's awesome. Very cool. Okay, so anyhow, let's put that back inside. Okay, just like so. Tighten that up. Up. All right, and then the print head actually just goes. Well, you have to raise it. it. Goes right here. It just screws down onto this. So I'll have to plug it in and raise that up. But uh, and then you got your control panel. Uh, you got your little lid here, which, from what I understand, still does not do anything about the smell of the resin. I guess that is one of the big knocks on these things is they're stinky. And I guess we're gonna find out because what I'll do is I'll do a whole other video on this thing after I have it uh, uh, set up. You know, I'll show you how I set it up and everything. And I'll do the test print and I'll share that with you guys. So right now today is just a, an unboxing and a, a first look. So we're gonna just kind of close that 
put it right there. And now we can take a better look at the stuff that we have here. Okay, so this after sales service card, uh, it's got barcodes for their website, their YouTube channel, their Facebook page. Uh, let's see here. How to reach tech support and everything like that. That's pretty cool. Okay, the manual. So it comes with the, the printer, the print platform, the resin vat, memory stick resin. It comes with masks. That speaks volumes about what this uh, resin is going to smell like. Gloves, funnels, the manual, uh, one extra FEP, a door handle unit for right there, toolkit, a scraper, power cord adapter, and some extra screws. That doesn't build confidence. Uh, all right. This shows you how to work through the screens. Emergency stop. Okay, assembly. Shows you how to level the bed. Limit screws, which I guess keeps you, because it's basically like a little projector down here. Like a little TV screen inside here that shines up through the, uh, the FEP. And uh, I guess if you push down too hard on it with your, your plate here, that would be bad. Photon slicer settings. Now, this does use its own slicer. It doesn't use Cura, which makes me sad a little bit, but we'll report back on that too. Does come with a test print, which I will probably do because it looks pretty cool. Yeah, so there's that. Okay. Yeah, this is the bag. Okay, I see the masks. All right, so let's see here. You got this little scraper, which I don't know, probably not. Got a little handle. Nice long Allen wrench. A little tiny screwdriver, not sure what that is for. Gloves and a mask. This may be really something important for me with my lungs. Oh, here's a whole nother Allen wrench, nice long one. And a little bit of hardware. All right, that's it for that. Let's see, like I said, power cord, power brick. What was this? A little, kind of a, what is that? Is it hex? Yeah, it looks like a hex head screwdriver of some type. No, uh, H2, yeah. H2. Okay, cool. That's really nice like that. And, uh, so I've heard in advance of this that these memory sticks really stink and that you should immediately get a good one and copy all your contents over onto the new card so uh, I'll, I'll be doing that here and uh, the extra FEP which I am NOT going to take out of its package because I assume that you're gonna want to be really careful with these and from what I understand they're, they're not cheap either so uh, I'm definitely gonna not ruin that. And one tiny bottle of of any cubic UV sensitive resin, basic in green, 250 grams. And uh, I actually have another, uh, I think 500 grams already on hand that I bought. Um, but they make a lot of different colors, clear things. You know, transparent colors, solid colors. Um, so, you know, yeah, it should be pretty neat. I, I can't wait to give this a test spin. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. We don't want to keep you too long with just an unboxing. Uh, all the fun will be in a later video when I get this thing set up and we do a test print. 
If you like this video though, please give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, ask any questions, make any comments that you might have. I love hearing from you. All right, this is Paul from Fat Guy Productions wishing you the most amazing, fabulous day. I'm going to get out of here. Until next time, be good.